hi everyone welcome back to the channel thank you as always for tuning back in and here we are with a new pick card reading i want to focus on what changes are ahead for us um as you know i feel strongly about 2022 and i've done uh, both god tableaus and astro clocks for your individual signs so you might want to check these out as i've been reminding you often so I've got four charms here, so we're going to do four separate readings, and I've got two decks, so I'm going to use uh, two different ones across the four readings. Again, we are focusing on what changes are ahead for us. These may be general or in a specific area, or perhaps you might like to focus on one specific area of your life for these changes. It is totally up to you how you want to connect with these readings. I've got the four different charms, like I said. I've got the scissors. I've got the feather and the lock and the key. So of course these timestamps are going to be uh, in the description box. You are welcome to pause the video to tune into which charm you want to resonate with for this reading and I will see you in your reading. Okay scissors group here we are with your reading. I've got uh, my own deck here. This is the silhouettes deck and i am going to do a three by five reading i'm really enjoying these they're so good they're so flexible they offer so much information let's go ahead and deal out your three by five okay scissors group this is pretty intense we've got some very strong cards in the central row and i am definitely seeing a change uh, ahead for you and probably a radical one i think it may be in relation to work and money um, because I'm seeing the fish and the fox close to each other and the fish is your top card and a move is possible we're seeing the scythe next to the house and there is also um, some kind of toxic situation that you need to get out of I think this is coming through very strongly in the middle cards now before we get into the rows and column scissors I like to uh, as you know start off with some um, broader structures and combinations to sort of contextualize what is going on so the clear card that comes out is the whip and the whip is right in the middle of your whole three by five the whip is a pretty aggressive card it can point to conflict and separations and it can also mean cracking the whip so to speak so really getting to work on something and approaching it in an aggressive way so this could be a time when you need to make some changes aggressively you need to stand your ground uh, you need to put someone in place. Um, the thing about the whip is that it really does not mince words. This is the opposite of being diplomatic. This is being upfront and even confrontational. And when I say it in the middle of your three by five scissors, folks, I feel that you really need to get cracking at this. And definitely no wasting time, no procrastinating, really getting to work on uh, these changes. Now, what the specific changes are is going to come through the details. Um, so a very aggressive and strong and also energetic energy coming to you through this change. The fish and rider is actually a really good combination for money and income. Uh, you could get a new source of income. Maybe you're pursuing your financial goals. Um, it's important for you to focus on this right now, especially since the fish is your first card. And when we see it with the rider, which is the card of momentum, moving forward and goals, it is very much about focusing on your material well-being, your financial goals, and your financial success. The fox and house can point to the job. It can also point to someone who rents out a place. Um, so it's often the job theme that comes out more commonly, but I can't dismiss the second possibility. Now, the fox and house can be neutral in the sense that it represents a job. And with the fish and rider, it's very possible that you have a job offer. Uh, this diagonal or this pair of diagonals is going to stand out as well, scissors group. Uh, we might as well read it right now. We've got the fish and moon and lily. This is very probably a job offer. And then the scythe and house, it can lead you to make a change. Now, I want to um, not uh, embrace this interpretation or this possibility so quickly because we're going to see through the second row that there could be an offer that comes your way that you need to turn down. Um, now, it can still be a matter of you having several options, several possibilities, and needing to juggle several things and having to make these uh, tough and probably quick decisions in terms of which option you go for. 
But in general, looking at your corner cards, I think the focus is on work, income, uh, your finances, and um, your job or your business, depending on what you run. Like I said, the fox and house can point to um, rent, or maybe you rent out a place, that's possible, or maybe you yourself, you rent a place, um, so either you own or you rent from someone. And when I look at this side of the V diagonals here that we saw, um, a, a change of place is possible. It is very possible. And we'll see here in the top row that property and matters around property are possible with the key and house. So your corner card scissors group, they highlight practical material, financial matters, work related matters. So it seems that these big changes could happen in this part of your life. Now let's move on to the rows and columns. In the top row, there is a very uh, clear indication of positive news for work and money and also property, like we said. So we've got the fish and then the a tree letter and key is very good news. It's also news that grows and blooms into something successful. And with the house, especially next to the key, uh, you could gain access into a certain place. You could get a job, like we said, uh, or perhaps uh, you gain a, a you get a foot in the door in a certain business or something that you're after in your work related life. Um, and it's also about property, the idea of buying, selling. Um, and also owning, uh, but maybe you rent as well. And so there is uh, here uh, positive news in this area. So in the top row, there is very good news. We've got the letter in the middle of the line, and it's very much about your financial, your practical matters, your work or business matters, and also possibly about where you live or perhaps property that you trade in. Now, the second row is a really tricky row. We've got some pretty challenging cards here. We've got the snake, the whip, and scythe, all three of them figuring here. It is really just the moon that softens the energy of uh, the whip and the snake. Uh, but when I see the moon next to the snake, just like when we see it next to the fox, so we have both of them connected with the moon, it is usually about something that you might turn down, like an offer, an invitation, some kind of proposal and it is best to turn it down. And we see this through the whip and scythe. Now the flowers is very opposite to all of this. The flowers is a card of healing and optimism and joy. So what I'm seeing that in this line, especially in view of the fact that the flowers is at the end of the line, is that you're able to break free from a toxic situation and you're able to make positive changes. And again, just when we saw with your corner cards, it seems to be in the context of work, money, practical affairs. So I would take this row, scissors group, to suggest that you need to get out of a toxic situation and there is probably an offer that comes your way that you're gonna turn down and you're gonna be thanking yourself for it. Um, this is very much breaking through limitations or getting out of something that had been stifling you or a toxic situation. What's really nice about the message of the flowers, and especially in this position, like I said, is that you will probably overcome this very successfully and feel a sense of relief and freedom all over again, which is wonderful. Bit of a bottleneck though, I have to say. Now the bottom row is another line that uh, suggests work. We have the fox, the lily and the tower, and each of these three cards can refer to the job. Uh, the fox is about employment, the lily is about career, and the tower can refer to big companies, corporations, and uh, organizations of that kind. Now, the height is lovely because it suggests that you're pursuing something that you love, and with the rider, you've got that momentum going, the green light, and um, the change that is implemented. So, it looks like also that some of the changes that you're making are for the are for the best for the long term and i say that because we have both the lily and the tower figuring next to each other here in the context of the job most likely um, and it's really about putting yourself on a strong footing for the longer term so the changes that you make need to align with your long-term goals scissors group you can't um, 
compromise your long-term security, your long-term uh, success, what your financial picture looks over the long term. Again, I'm seeing this practical energy to your cards. And if there are limitations that you need to break through, if there are situations that you're in that are compromising your future security, then you will need to rectify these. Now, I have to say that the people element, even though it's not really strongly represented in your cards, it may still be an issue that you deal with through this change. It's possible that both the snake and fox represent someone who is outright dishonest scissors group. And I think with the something like the whip and scythe, which is so strong, there is no more pretending that this is okay. So it's really like you're going to whip something, someone out of your life. And I have to say that is possible. Now, the fox and heart in the context of people is also tricky. It's not as toxic as the snake and heart, but it's still one of those characters that is uh, self-interested, selfish, you know, not really into anything except themselves. They have their own agenda, their own goals, which I guess it's fine. You know, we, we all have our own goals and, you know, we need to pursue our interests. But it's just being aware that some people are playing to win. In the second row, though, the if we were to take um, the situation as affecting a relationship or a person, it's a lot stronger than what we're seeing in the bottom row. But before we settle on any final uh, conclusion, let's continue weaving the columns here uh, to get more indications about this. Now, the fish, snake, and fox might have been a good combination for money, but I feel because we have both the fox and the snake, it is really alarming you to possible traps and scams and you know losses with your money or possibly other practical areas in your life. So it's really important that you're careful whom you trust with your practical affairs. And I would say through this phase, uh, scissors folks, I would say across all areas of your life. But what I'm seeing here is possible the possibility of a trap, a scam, lies. Um, so it's very important that you don't borrow, lend, you know, to anything questionable and other uh, things as well in terms of your money and practical affairs. So keep both eyes open and um, double check everything. It's best if you postpone signing anything serious right now until maybe you're on the other side of this. Now the tree, moon, and heart is um, a nice phase of change and evolution. Um, it can point to the offer because of the moon that we saw in the second row. But in this line, I really think it's about your well-being and feeling good about yourself. A sense of creativity is also possible, but I'm, I'm seeing a sense of evolution and growth and it's really towards the things that make you happy. It might be a good time also to take time out to get some perspective for yourself and to take it easy. You know, I think this can be a turbulent bottleneck. So see if you can still make time for peaceful moments with yourself. Now, the letter whip and lily is clearly a challenging line. Uh, the news can be shocking or troubling. It can also be the type of thing you need to respond to urgently. With the lily, it can refer to something like being let go from the job or in general, people are being let go on the job and it can work really well with what we're seeing in the second row. But actually, when we tie in the other cards, we see that there could be a good reason for this. And actually, the key scythe and tower sort of supports this because the scythe and tower is about a complete separation from the past and a release from this context that is represented by the tower, which, like we said, can represent a corporation or some other environment. But the key is a wonderful card of success. So this does suggest that you are better off making this change and releasing yourself from this situation or from this past chapter. And the key insight can also represent a breakthrough, you know, where you're able to see through the situation. So um, I am seeing a sense of relief again, just like we saw with the flowers, which is on the other side of the scythe. And finally, we have the house flowers and rider, which can suggest something returns or someone returns, or there is a sense of renewal and refreshment. The flowers is lovely for optimism and joy, and the rider is a, is a movement card. Sometimes the rider and house can represent a visitor, and with the flowers, maybe someone comes back into play. 
that's a possibility but more or less on its own when we put all of these cards together we see that there is a positive unfolding with the last column being really freeing and optimistic and we see that more or less the bulk of these columns is challenging and that's mainly because of the cards and the central row you know they're part of each of these columns so it's like there's quite a bit of a a bottleneck for your scissors group moving through but definitely a change is at hand for the better um, but likely the change involves your work your money um, possibly some things related to property property investments or renting your you know your base in this sense and as you make changes scissors group it's important that you focus on the long term and that you put yourself on a secure footing for the long term it's possible that what you're doing right now in terms of your money and finances at least is not all that supportive of your long-term future so you might like to you know make adjustments so that you can you can um, meet your goals and like I said I, I'm not really feeling the people element so much but if it is about a person or some people then you might really need to let go of a toxic relationship scissors group I'm seeing that it could be limiting you a breakthrough is ahead for you and a sense of relief and release is very likely for you and I think this is possibly a tough change scissor group but it's not without its rewards um, so yes we are seeing a strong confirmation of change and we are seeing that this change is likely in the context of work money business and your practical affairs and also be cautious of scams and traps and things like that so there's they, they seem to be a possibility as per your cards now let's wrap up with a few more uh, suggestions here we've got the diagonals we can read and they also tie into the portraits so we did read this first diagonal and we suggested that you could receive an offer that leads you to make a change from your current situation if that's the case i think um, it aligns really well with everything else we read and it, I think it's encouraged based on everything else and then we've got the fox moon letter and then the scythe and rider now this one is an interesting combination because the fox and moon like we said with the snake and moon it could be an invitation that you turn down and with the scythe and rider we see that confirmed now one scenario that I can imagine out of daily life that meets these two diagonal sets is that you might find and you get a new offer and you decide to make a change you know you say folks I'm leaving and then they, they might try to pull on you they might tell you you know don't leave they might offer you with something else uh, or give you a counter offer and ask you to stay and I feel that that's the offer you want to or you might want to turn down or you're going to end up turning down because you are going to prefer to go with the change instead of accepting an enhanced offer where you are that's a very specific interpretation on the job but you know it could apply in different contexts as well depending on what you do specifically you can leave me a comment and i can answer to it um so you're definitely in for a change it's definitely time to to get out of this present situation and i think it's mainly a situation around work and money it's limiting um you need to make adjustments you need to line yourself up for longer term security at this point scissors group and you know what you are going to be on the other side of this and you're going to be happy that you did and you are going to find a new sense of purpose and uh, inspiration and i am also getting a sense of creativity for you so maybe finding new avenues of income new solutions but definitely getting out of a limiting uh, situation right now scissors and also if it involves people i would say even putting them in place so that's plenty to go with uh scissors group these are some pretty strong cards uh, so stick with it and stand your ground and stand by what you believe and if it if it requires a bit of patience as well you know work with that and you'll soon be on the other side of it having put it all behind you and moving forward with a new sense of purpose and new confidence and happiness towards your goals so let me know how this change plays out for you i'm really looking forward to your comments best of luck with it again and until we meet again thank you so much for watching and take very good care of yourself Hello Feather Group, welcome to your reading. I've got Titania's Fortune cards here and we are going to do a 3x5 reading 
uh, for this question about what changes ahead for you. So my deck is always shuffled between readings. Let's go right ahead and deal out your extended portrait. Okay, feather group. Some interesting indications here. I'm seeing a couple of themes uh, coming up for you. Um, it really is the ring that stands out in the center of everything, but the fish is also the card of money and it can bring up the possibility of work and income uh, with the lily. And I'm also suspecting that travel could be in your cards and ahead for you as well. Now, in terms of changes, I think it's very clear what we're seeing through the ring and scythe. The ring is a central card and the scythe is part of the first two corner cards. So when we put these together, it seems to me that you are in for a radical separation from a relationship. Yes, this can be a combination of divorce. Um, I like that we have the flowers on this side. So there's like a positive unfolding and the columns on the right tend to be associated with the future most uh, part of the reading or the story. And so as a result can be associated with outcomes. We also have some pretty bright cards. We've got the clover key and star along with the lily on uh, this outer outer cross, um, outer diamond here. And this can be a really wonderful thing for not only your life in general, but also your career. And we also have the flowers. So there are some really bright cards in your three by five. The moon is also nice and soft, but it's the others that are so brightly positive. So with the ring in the center of everything, a relationship is very much in focus. In general, it would be with a person, but it can also refer to a routine or an involvement or a commitment. And with the scythe, I really think you're gonna break off from a commitment, you're gonna separate from a relationship. You might even have to break a promise or your involvement. Now it's possible that this is something that happens to you when we talk about things like promises and commitments, maybe someone breaks their promise with you, but I really don't think that's the main way of interpreting your cards. Now, when we look at the corner cards, we have the anchor and scythe, and this too is a combination of breaking free. Now the anchor can be a bit restrictive. It can be stubborn. You know, it's an unmoving card, very strongly, firmly grounded and rooted. And with a scythe, it might be time to release that. So this is where you uh, break off the shackles, you release yourself from limitations. So that is actually a really positive message. And it is reinforced with the ring in the triplet. The mountain and flowers can refer to travel. Again, the, the theme of travel is possible in your cards. Maybe the change that is ahead involves physical travel and moves. And the, so assuming the mountain refers to a place abroad or a foreign location, the flowers would then suggest a return to that place because the flowers is a card of return and renewal through its association with spring. So this place is a place you already know. And so you would be going back there. The flowers is also an all around optimistic card. So this can be a vacation or a happy trip, you know, like something adventurous and fun is very possible. And if the mountain is not about travel or if you're not seeing travel happening for you, then it may well be about obstacles. A bit like the, the anchor that you're able to break through, the mountain and flowers suggest that you're able to thaw the coldness and this, the distance that is represented by the mountain. So again, the sense of um, overcoming rigidity, overcoming stuckness and, you know, like flowing, I think is really possible for you. Um, Let's now move on to the details through the rows and columns and see what comes out uh, these general indications. So starting with the top row, it's a collection of very, very beautiful cards, uh, feather group. We've got all around success and abundance. It can be a, a, a reading about wealth. The line can suggest income coming through and abundance. Um, the ship on the other side of the anchor suggests that things pick up quite literally. And the clover is one of the luckiest cards of the deck with the fish and flowers we are looking at financial abundance. The ship itself can also refer to money and income. And um, when we see it with these bright cards, you are definitely going to see the return on investment, your efforts bearing fruit, your effort paying off, your work coming through. Really, the, the, the rewards are really well captured through this first line. Um, and I think it has to do with money, abundance, wealth, and 
a sense of strong material success. Now, again, like we said, this can point to travel because of the ship, and you could be traveling on business. Maybe you're trading, the ship is a card of trade, you know, import, export, and that kind of association with it. Maybe it's something you do online by distance. I tend to use the mountain more to refer to online work as opposed to the ship. But since we also have it in the cards, that too is possible. So in all cases, Feather Group, we are looking at some uh, very positive changes with regards to your money, your income, your sources of income, possibly your job. Wonderful, wonderful messages here. In the second row, we have a generally positive set of cards. It's just a snake that sets things off a little bit, but everything else is pretty good. We've got the star, then the snake and ring, and then the moon and lily. Now this side is pretty clear. This points to an offer. It can also mean an offer that has an impact on your lifestyle, how you live. Um, it might go as far as affecting your sense of well-being. You know, the, the lily is a card of life and lifestyle, and with the moon, it really shines a positive light with it. The ring and moon is a combination of proposal, and with the lily, it can be about work. So again, I'm seeing the work element as the theme of focus for the changes that are ahead for you, Feather Group. Now, a bit tricky is this side of the line because we have the snake, but because of the very beautiful star, and also notice that all the cards around the snake in its portrait here are really positive. So it's possible that the snake comes to your advantage and that you are a very goal-oriented person through this change and you know exactly what you want. Um, I would say the star really enables you to achieve your goal. I would just say that in a relationship or in achieving this goal, you want to be a bit indirect. So in other readings in this pick a card, I saw the exact opposite message. I saw the idea of being really direct, if not outright rough, to go after what you want. But in this reading, I'm seeing the snake, which means everything roundabout, indirect, diplomatic, cautious, silent, observant, and, you know, almost like scheming, like how you're going to, you know, find your way. And the star really is a bright card that lifts a lot of the potentially negative energy and indications associated with the snake. So I think you are going to get what you want. You just want to be able to charm the birds of the trees and, you know, don't tell everyone what you're after. Don't tell this person what you're after. You know, take it easy and manage the relationship, manage the change, but definitely stick to what you want because you are going to get it. I would also say that the snake might advise you not to be too quick to give a yes or no answer. So sort of, you know, consider things, let it bake, you know, and the changes are happening. And in time or, you know, you get into what's being proposed to you here a bit more deeply and then you're able to, um, to accept and embrace this, this opportunity. I also think that you're in for some changes, like we said, so we suggested lifestyle changes, positive financial changes, but there, there seemed to be, with the snake, something of an adjustment period, which is totally fine. And that's an, a piece of advice. The idea that um, you may want to make your changes gradually, uh, you know, engage in this project or this opportunity or this um, new source of income, you know, gradually or carefully. And again, the snake is a card of silence. So you seem to have a lot of good coming your way. So I'm seeing with the snake that, you know, don't be showy, don't show it off, um, you know, don't flaunt uh, the, the, the stuff that's happening. You need to be a bit more discreet about it. Okay, enough said. Bottom row, Mountain Rider, Key, uh, Tower, and Scythe. I'm seeing this in other readings as well. Uh, this is a combination that's really well aligned with the question, with the idea of change. The Tower and Scythe means a release from the past. And the rider, key, and mountain can suggest, again, this idea of a trip or going somewhere. The rider is another one of those travel cards. And with the key tower and scythe on the side, I suggest that you may want to make a big change from what you've been living through over the past phase. So it can be 
releasing your current foundation, moving possibly to a different place, making a deeper change in your life seems to be ahead. And again, I think it's connected with all of this financial stuff. Uh, like we suggested in the top, uh, the, the ship can mean that you make money online. And here as well, the idea of you know distance and stuff being online is also possible. Maybe you change how you work. Maybe you change how you connect with work. And also you pursue opportunities in different places. And this will probably lead you to let go of the current status quo. Um, or what you had been committed to over the past phase. Um, so again, this is a strong movement combination in the bottom row. It's time to make a deep change. And I have to say, Feathered Group, that because of the key and tower, and also sometimes the clover, the other card, the third card being the cross, these three cards and the cross, they point to mysteries that are a bit deeper in life. Um, you know, it's about life lessons and deeper things in life. And so maybe here you're engaging in your purpose a little bit more deeply. And I feel that the top row really aligns with that because the fish is also associated with dreams. The lily is about your life as a whole. The star is about inspiration, aspirations, big ambitions. So I am getting a sense of the bigger things in your life and, you know, the deeper meaning of your life that could, that could be coming through in this to the surface at this point, Feather Group. And so you might want to make changes in a way that enable you to get closer to your sense of purpose in life. Um, and uh, this can be a really exciting adventure, but maybe you, you, you don't see everything just yet. And that's the mystery that could be coming through the Kian Tower. So I went through this whole roundabout <laughs> discussion to tell you a little bit about the Kian Tower. I feel that now you need to engage a bit more seriously with your purpose and some changes that are ahead for you are gonna enable that. Super exciting. Now, Anchor, Star, and Mountain. This is a really helpful message in terms of supporting this idea of a different place or a broader, different foundation somewhere. The Anchor and Mountain clearly represents a foothold abroad. And with the Star, you could be encouraged to pursue that. Um, so you might wanna you know, travel a little bit, find out what are the opportunities in different locations, different places, and you'll probably land on the right one. And um, it's going to resonate. And at that point, you'll decide to make it like a foothold, if not a home altogether. Now, again, if you're not seeing this interpretation applying to you, it can mean your sense of security, your sense of strength and foundation. Uh, both the mountain and anchor have a strong message of foundation. The other cards being the bear and house, you know, they're very strong, unmoving cards. Maybe also the tower, you know, very deeply rooted. And with the star, it's really about, um, it's, it becomes more metaphorical. It, it's about um, your sense of security, like where you stand, how you feel about yourself, your confidence in yourself. And the star is definitely telling you that you need to listen to yourself, like you know what you want, you know what you want to see materialize in your life, so go with that. Now the ship, snake, and rider is again another combination of travel, so I feel the travel theme is strong in your cards, and I know some of you are going to have exceptions, but I really feel that a physical kind of trip or change or exploration is, is likely for you. The thing about this snake is that it's the indirect route. So again, I'm seeing travel, I'm seeing moves, changes, but the snake is first its message or its key meaning, its essential meaning, but also its position relative to the movement cards. Yeah, when we see the snake close to the ship, um, rider, mountain, it is clearly telling us that the path is an indirect path. So there is a bit of a you know, like uh, going around things, situations, possibly obstacles with the mountain in order to achieve your goal. And that is the right way to do it. So like I, I was saying earlier, it's it's very opposite to another reading that I saw in this big card. You know, the cards are, the cards can be specific. They can tell you confront something. They can tell you don't confront something, take the indirect route. What we're seeing for you, Feather Group, is the indirect route. So... This is like maybe taking a longer turn or 
making stops along the way. You know, it's, you know, there's, it's like, it's not straightforward. It's not direct. Um, it can be an enjoyable ride, but it can also be a bit trickier and you need to navigate it. Now, Clover Ring and Key is a beautiful combination for success in general. A relationship proof supportive and involvement comes through. I think this is the green light, especially with the Key and Clover. You get the okay, you get the yes, um, you get the answers, you get your wish materializing, and the ring points to engagement in this uh, context. Now, I think the theme is tending more towards your finances and your, your work, your vocation, your direction, you know, in, in that bigger sense. But because of the ring in the middle of it all, it can refer to a relationship. Although I have to say, I'm not seeing people cards, you know, like the dog, man, woman. And uh, we don't have pips on these cards, so it's not really standing out for me. But I can make, you know, I can interpret the cards in this way. In, in the context of relationships, the cards are also very positive. It's just that the snake in relationships is a bit trickier than in any other context or theme. In, in relationships, the snake tends to point to a third party or someone who's interfering in the relationship. But honestly, when I see all of these bright cards around it, I really think it's neutralized. And I don't think that there's a threat to your relationship. And in fact, your best, um, your best downplaying any threats, like your best playing it, um, you know, smart and not really giving that potential threat a lot of presence, you know, a lot of attention. It might just go away. And also, I feel you're on top of it. Like, if this is about competition, you know, I think you're on top of it. Anyway, let's continue with the columns. We have the fish, moon, and tower. So this is another line with the fish and tower that suggests the job. And the moon, again, points to an offer. I also think that you could gain recognition, appreciation, possibly a promotion, um, an increase in income. There is a definite kind of enhancement to your level, if you know what I mean, whether it's on the job or financially, you're like upping to the next level or something is going and deepening for you. And it does seem to be really connected with the job, your business and your finances. So very positive evolution here. Now, the flowers, lily, and scythe is actually a really interesting set of cards because the scythe and lily is not very common. And with the flowers, it is quite a positive message. By themselves, these two cards could be questionable depending on what other cards, but because the flowers is so bright, I really feel that you're in for a very positive change in your life. Now, the scythe is a bit opposite to the snake. The scythe is a sharper and it's um, more direct than the snake. The snake is really a lot more cautious and indirect. The scythe in this context of this column is clearly pointing to a radical change in your life. Now, it doesn't mean that you make it very quickly. The snake, again, suggests a more gradual approach, but the resulting change goes deep, feather group. And, you know, it can be... It can give you a new lease of life. It can feel like you are being born into a new chapter, like you're being reborn with a lot of energy. And, you know, it's like there's a new you, you is possible. Or this is focused in a specific area of your life. But of course, it's going to pour into the different areas of your life. You know, anytime there's a big life change in one of those areas, it, it you know, it affects our life in general. I also think this column could be telling you to change and to, you know, get out of the mindset that you've been in. Um, try to do things differently in life. You know, it's going to depend on what exactly it comes down to. But again, I'm seeing the strong focus on money and work, etc. But I do feel that in a more general sense, sometimes it helps to explore different ways of being, different ways of living. You know, we take things for granted and we think that that's the way things are. But actually, there are many different ways to go about life. There are many different ways to live, you know, to experience 
what it means to work and make money and be with people and all of that. You know, so I think that with your reading, you know, there is a, a strong sense of adventure. There is a strong sense of um, being open to abundance, you know, and so with that, I think comes possibilities. So I feel that you could be in for quite a lot of growth and evolution, but also a, a potentially major separation and change feather from like, uh, either a relationship, which I don't think is really the thing, but, you know, like the status quo, the way you've been living, you know, it can change now. You can make more money, you can experience more abundance, you can experience more adventure, you might explore different places, you might um, explore different projects and jobs and, you know, just really going for it. Now, you don't have to make the change overnight, but I think the resulting change goes deep. So I hope this makes sense, Feather, like, you know, the nuances between what's happening here and with the snake. So that's plenty, really, and a lot of good stuff happening for you. Lots of green light solution. It's like there's like an opening. It's so nice. Um, let's wrap up with a few more diagonals. Um, and these diagonals are actually part of the portraits. And I have to say, Feather Group, that when I look at it this way, there is something that jumps out to me the three central cards and the three central cards are inside the outer frame of the three by five they are also the central cards of the three complete portraits and when we just look at these cards this can be a more relationship focused um, reading it's like the the snake um, it's really the the moon that brings this feminine energy and then the snake is a third party, like we said, and then we have the ring. So if we just look at these three cards, you know, in a relationship context, it can be pretty tricky. It can mean that you turn down an offer, that you watch out for someone's intentions. You know, they don't really mean what they're doing. I also think that it's pretty sexual. There's something really sexual about these cards. Uh, the moon and snake along with the ring, it can be really sensual in that sense. But the snake tends to be mean. You know, it's not, it's not like the flowers or even the fox, you know, it has a mean energy. And so, you know, yes, it is strongly associated with sensuality and sexuality, but I would still want to um, just be aware of what the person's intention is. Still, this is an offer or a proposal or, or some kind of potential for collaboration, whether it's with a person or in another context. Again, the snake is that card that is asking for caution, and maybe it is not something that you go for. There is a change coming in for you, and possibly if you have options, you're going to go for one over the other. So that's an interesting focus on the first three cards. Now, in terms of the portraits, um, what I like to do is to link the diagonals together. So we have the anchor snake key, and then moon and flowers. So I'm seeing a similar message here. The key moon flowers is a really good proposal, uh, honors, appreciation. This can really suggest compliments and, and wonderful things being said about you. And the key is a card of success. So I think you're in, you're in for a, a strong likelihood of standing out, uh, Feather Group. So again, I feel this is part of your growth, the promotion, or some kind of enhancement. The thing about the anchor, snake, and key is that, again, there seems to be an indirect route to your success or to your goals. And maybe some people are envious. I have to put it out there, Feather Group. Um, people would envy your success or, um, you know, you're attracting a bit of envy through this phase. So I don't think it's wise in view of everything else that you, you be too showy about it. I might have suggested that if you had the sun, for example, the sun is like a very bright card. It doesn't hide, you know, it's not, you know, it, it taps itself on the back, but the snake is a little bit more discreet, you know, so it might be a good time to balance your success with a bit of discretion. And then the other diagonal, we've got the mountain, snake, clover, moon, and scythe. So this is a, a really uh, fun set of cards. The snake and mountain is very much about going around someone's, I would even say back, you know, going around someone's back, you see like the mountain, you know, it's like a thing. And then you've got the snake that goes around it, right? So that's the way I, I visualize it. But really the bottom line is the idea of going around the obstacle. 
The Clover is a wonderful card of success and the Moon and Science suggest a breakthrough, you know, in this context. So, so the snake and that indirect root is the way to break through. Okay, I think this is a helpful line that sort of balances what is potentially opposite indications between the snake and and scythe. So very clear to me that the indirect truth is what's going to help you out. We could also read for good measure a couple of other diagonals here: the starship, ring, and tower and lily. Again, I'm seeing the potential of um, a new kind of commitment for the long term. Certainly the tower and lily is about the long term. And so you could be in for an important new phase in life, a new journey, and uh, also lots of wish fulfillment uh, feather group. And then star rider, ring, fish, and lily is wonderful for work and money. Um, this is a lucrative career. Uh, this is a successful career. And uh, I think you're gonna make that change and commit to this new source of income or this new level of abundance uh, for the longer term. I do think, Feather Group, that the key change that is coming for you is in terms of the level of abundance that you can welcome into your life. And um, this may involve releasing certain conditions or situations in your life, but I think you're going to welcome the change. Um, it's going to give you more elbow room in life. Uh, you're going to feel bigger, that you have more space, um, that you are, you can receive more very strong energies of abundance. And again, a possibility of making a move uh, or changing locations or at least having a, a foothold abroad is also strongly um, present in your cards. So in all, there is a an indication of separation, but it's not as loud and it doesn't take as cent uh, the center stage as the other things going on, which is more abundance, growth, enhancement of your, you know, your sense of level and um, your abundance in life, you know. So I'm, I'm seeing a very abundant phase for you, Feather Group. And uh, again, possibly some travel and adventure. So welcome this growth and this new space uh, in your life, I think you're going to love it and it's probably going to change how you live to some extent, you know, or what you make of your life. So this can be really exciting. Let me know how you like these thoughts and ideas, Feather Group. I'm really looking forward to your comments. Um, be grateful for everything. Welcome this abundance and uh, move ahead. Make those changes and embrace this new potential. Until we meet again, thank you so much for watching. As always, take very good care of yourself. Hello Lock Group, here we are with my deck. This is the Silhouettes deck and your lovely charm here on the side. I have my deck shuffled always between readings and so let's go ahead and deal out your extended portrait. I think it works really well with this question and keep in mind we're looking at what changes are ahead for you. Okay Lock Group, here are your cards. Um, the relationship element clearly stands out. You have lots of relationship cards. Um, when I see the ring, I would give it a, an opportunity to be about something else, like a commitment or a promise or some kind of involvement. But when I see the dog, man, and woman as well, we are definitely looking at relationships and probably someone specific. So actually, when we look at this first diagonal, we see that there is a strong indication of a a relationship, a long-term relationship, a long-term commitment, a strong element of friendship here, but also possibly a love relationship. Because when we see the ring and the dog together, it can mean that a relationship goes out of a friendship. And then we have the man and the woman together on the side, very beautiful uh, set of cards. So this, this first diagonal really captures uh, the key to the relationship here. Now, before we get into the details, I like to focus a little bit on um, some outer cards and general cards. They, they give us a good context for the reading. Um, the first two corner cards, we have the ring and the fish. So this can be a business relationship uh, because the fish is a card of money. 
But in terms of love, it is typically about um, sensuality, attraction. There's a strong sexual element here that can be very fulfilling. So the idea of a relationship is emphasized here and also the idea of attraction and collaboration if it's outside of love figure in your cards. The tree and man um, is also a positive combination. The tree is always a wonderful card to see. It's a bit of a slower card, so what I'm sensing here is that the relationship with this person unfolds over time, and it's a good idea to take your time with it. And this matches well what we saw uh, with the tower. And actually, when we see the tree, tower, lily, all three of these cards are slower cards, they unfold over time, and they can be about a lifetime connection. And with the woman and fish, there is again um, a similar indication of an attraction or the possibility of this being about work and money. The lily is also a card of work and career, and with the fish that can be emphasized. And actually backing up a little bit to this diagonal, the tower can be associated with uh, corporations and business environments. So I think the reading can go both ways. It can be about a love relationship or about a work and professional relationship. The central card is important. It is the clouds. The clouds is a bit of a trickier card. It points to uh, confusion or tension. Uh, it does bring a sense of lack of clarity. It clouds things a little bit. But I have to say that apart from the whip and snake, everything else is pretty positive and there are cards that help overturn this. We have the clover and sun in the top row. So we have a few more challenging cards in the bottom row. Let's hold off until we weave everything together and put the picture as a whole. The top row is a very beautiful line. It is wonderful for this relationship. We have the ring at the beginning, the man at the end, and in the middle we have beautiful cards. The sun and clover are two all around wish fulfillment cards. And the lily is neutral, but it is about lifetime partnerships. Or it can be about career. So this is a very strong and supportive relationship with this man. In the second row, we have challenges here. We have uh, the whip, tower, and the clouds, and then the letter on the other side of the woman. So this can mean news of a long-standing challenge. Uh, possibly it is resolved because I'm seeing the clover next to the letter. Um, but it is the idea of bringing up a long-standing issue with this person and hopefully resolving it. The woman might refer to a third party. And I say that because the snake is in the cards and the snake knights to the woman. And it's possible and it also knights to the ring. Uh, so it's possible that there is a third party relationship and then it's possible in this case that it falls through or there is a situation in relation to that that needs to be resolved. In the bottom line, we have a mixed uh, set of cards here. We have the tree and the fish that bracket the line and in the middle we have the snake and mouse around the friend represented by the dog. So I think this can be, again, um, a third party or someone who is a bit of a liar here, really, with the snake and mouse, someone who's dishonest and, you know, not really uh, forthright. And the thing about the tree is that it's good to distance yourself from this and also to let it go because it's, it's sort of going to unfold on its own and there's going to be news about it. I feel that this can tie back into the issues that we saw here. Let's continue with the cards. The ring, whip, and tree can mean that there was um, a conflict or a disagreement or some kind of issue with this person. There could have been a disagreement over something, um, but uh, the uh, sun, tower, and snake can point to moving on from that. And, and so does the tree, actually. You know, like we said, both the tree and tower are slower cards, so they have a sense of wisdom, you know, like not being pushy or not, uh, trying to fix things, you know, letting things unfold um, is, is the key. And uh, being patient with, with the resolution. Uh, but again, like we said, the snake uh, can represent that third party. It knights to the woman, knights to the ring, is next to the dog. And with the sun and tower here, there can be a positive resolution in this regard. Now, the lily clouds and dog is again possibly referring to this, like we saw all of these cards 
you know, they T cross the central row. And like we said, this woman can be captured here. And there could have been an issue here with this, with this friendship and this relationship. And the lily can mean that it's been going on for a while. Again, I'm seeing long-term um, cards figuring in this uh, layout and you know they happen next to each other and and so they really bring that sense of slowness and the idea of a long-standing situation and the long term in this relationship the clover woman and mouse is a positive resolution i'm seeing a parallel uh, between these two lines and it's interesting because they are uh, around the dog in the bottom row so again similarly in time there's going to be a positive change and finally there is this good news that comes from the man here with the letter and fish and like i said the fish can refer to work or bring up this element of work and money in the reading but there is equal reason to consider that these cards are about love and relationships so with uh having gone through all of the lines the rows and the columns what change are you going through um, coming up next for your lock group? And I think that there's going to be a relationship. So a lot of readings like this, they tend to point to change and fallouts. But with you, there is a coming together. So there was initially issues. There could be an issue with a third party. But I'm seeing that for you, there is a coming together with this person. So we can look forward to a relationship or a deepening of the relationship or resolutions within a relationship that lead to better times ahead. So any way you look at these cards, I feel there's positive change coming up for you in this relationship. Now, when it comes to job matters, I feel that it's possible that you are in uh, for a new job, a new collaboration, and one that comes with, I think, a strong financial element. We've got the fish and clover coming up here as nights to each other and you know we saw the top line very beautiful for your career and so in the context of work the challenges that we associated with the third party can refer to um, a number of things it depends on your specific scenario uh, but i feel it can refer to possibly competition you know because of the snake maybe people who try to sabotage this um, or possibly the idea that you need to you know to embrace this opportunity you need to make changes where you are and that means letting go of certain people certain commitments you know possibly what we're seeing here in uh, in the left hand side column another theme that comes through clearly in these cards for your lock group is the slower cards the tree tower and lily so this change into this relationship this strong bond that is uh, happening here for you is probably one that will last over the long term whether this is about your work your career or a personal relationship i think this is a relationship that lasts a pretty uh, good time and th there can be a strong commitment also notice that the ring is your first card and when we look at this portrait here despite the challenges here this first diagonal as part of this portrait has you know the tower in it and there is a strong connection of a you know friendship going out of a love relationship and the second diagonal here within this portrait is also key for the long term and then we look at the portrait here with the woman obviously this very powerful uh, relationship element coming through the dog woman and man and also the lily woman and fish the lily being another card of the long term so it's very clear that this long-term commitment is coming through for you and there's going to be um, a change into a longer term situation within a relationship whether it's love or a career and professional connection in the center we have uh, the portrait around the clouds but what's really really nice about this portrait is that in both diagonals we have two very positive cards we have the sun that tops this portrait and we have uh, the clover on the side of the diagonal so the challenge is represented by the clouds along with the snake and mouse uh, can be overcome by the sun and clover and i have to say that this is a really interesting structure it's like it really mirrors it um, you know from the top to the to the bottom we see the challenges on either side of the clover diagonally and we see the beautiful messages um, on either side of the um, clouds also diagonally so i do think there are some issues that are resolved and you're able to connect with this person with more commitment more deeply 
and um, you know moving on to building this relationship so it's a really wonderful reading for you law group there is a relationship in the making for you it can be in your professional life or in your personal life but having gotten the challenges out of the way or possibly competition and a third party out of the way you're able to connect with this person now over the long term and really probably settle with them i really think that is a possibility for you now before we wrap up there is a couple of more indications that we might like to look at we can look at the whip sun into the clouds mouse and letter this is quite a curious line because we have the sun earlier and some challenging cards next to the letter so it does point to challenges in regards to the news just like we saw in the central row but again the sun brings this idea of resolution and actually when we look at the second set that mirrors this we've got the whip snake clouds into the clover and letter so again i have an indication here that the challenges are to your advantage and i think that is a really good message so again i feel what's happening here is getting some challenges out of the way they seem to be associated with another person it can be competition or some kind of third party someone who's trying to sabotage your good and your connection and i think there is news that they are out of the way so i think this is a wonderful uh, situation for you lock group you are in for a long-term relationship here a long-term connection that evolves over time that you can commit to so give it time allow it to unfold enjoy the change and when you're ready let go of this episode with this third party or the challenges associated with these cards in here so let me know how you like these thoughts law group leave me your thoughts and comments i'm really looking forward to them and until we meet again as always thank you so much for watching and take very good care of yourself hey key group here we are with the deck this is titania's cards and your lovely key here as your charm and i want to do another three by five i really enjoy these uh extended portraits for these questions and keep in mind we're looking at what change is ahead for you so let's go ahead and deal out your cards wow key group look at these beautiful cards they're all lovely there isn't a single challenging card um, just by looking overall at these cards we can say that you are in for a lot of wish fulfillment happiness and um, an overall sense of abundance um, we've got a lot of happy cards um the star the clover the flowers the key these are wonderful cards the fish is also good and so is the child they can be influenced by negative cards but there are no negative cards in your layout and we can look forward to a lot of happiness and wish fulfillment there is the dog that figures here points to a friend possibly and this interesting pair that stands out as a house move potentially or some other positive changes and there is the book and ring, the moon and ring, which can also point to a proposal. The child is about new beginnings, and this too is another standout combination. It suggests a new beginning whose importance you do not see. So it's very clear to me, key group, that you are in for a wonderful new beginning. Um, there's a lot of potential that could unleash and open up for you. And all of the changes that are ahead are really, really positive. You have the key matching your charm. I don't, you know, read normally these signs, but it could emphasize, uh, you know, the idea of intelligence and opening up and also relying on yourself and trusting your potential. So let's start with some overview cards to contextualize this three by five. The first uh, pair of corner cards, the fish and clover, is wonderful for money. So you could recover money. You could make a new source of income. It would certainly be the message of this column here and um, you could feel abundant uh, material uh, wishes uh, come through uh, money wishes come through financial goals are achieved any way you want to look at these cards in terms of money they do really really well thanks to the clover the child and stork clearly points to a new beginning there is a new beginning that is ahead for you and the fact that these are corner cards suggests that a major change that is ahead for you key group is a new beginning um, sometimes the child and stork can represent pregnancy and uh, you know we do have this stork and house next to each other here which points to changes in the family so if you're after growing your family uh, having a child having a, another child you know the cards bode really well 
It's also interesting to note the moon right in the center of your three by five, and it is the card of femininity, women, and of course it's associated with fertility. We also have the flowers next to it and the star and all of these beautiful cards. So it bodes really, really well for fertility. Another interesting element is that the fish is associated with masculinity. So if you are after um, you know, having a family, having a, a child or growing your family, the cards are really, really supportive. Now, this is not likely to apply to all of you or most of you even. It tends to be a more specific uh, scenario, but it's still pretty present in the cards. Otherwise, you're in for a new beginning and lots of financial success. And the moon points to honors, recognition. It is also a card of beauty and gentleness. So I feel like you're in a position to attract a lot of good in the coming phase, a key group, and also be gentle with yourself, with others. Um, I, I think it's like you're enjoying, quietly enjoying and savoring all of this goodness that is coming to you. It's really, really beautiful. So with this said, let's move on to the rows and columns. In the top row, we've got the fish, dog, and anchor. This is positive for money. Um, maybe you're lending to someone. I don't know if that could apply. But in general, it bodes well for security, financial security. And it can also refer to you as an employee or possibly a colleague because the dog and the context of work which is brought by the fish card can represent colleagues. I also think you have strong support on the home front probably, and you have reliable connections and relationships. On the other side of the anchor, we have the house and stork. And this is in contrast to the anchor. So the anchor is a card of staying put, of staying where you are, uh, whereas the house and stork can represent a move or a change. Now, I'm not seeing other change cards and the anchor is pretty strong. So I feel that the line could advise you to stay put where you are and to build on top of what you're building. And the changes are really within the context that you're building. So it's not moving away from what you're doing, but changing within what you're doing that I feel is highlighted. Um, the line can also point to uh, maybe some rent. Maybe it's, it's where you live. It has to do with your rent. And I say that because of the dog. And um, there could be some positive changes that you make within the home, like renovating and upgrading some things. The house can also refer to the job, specifically your team on the job with the fish and other work-related cards. It can suggest your home-based business. And you could be growing your customer base with the dog and anchor here, and there are positive uh, changes. So I would say the key message, key group, is that you stick with what you're doing and build on it as opposed to change more radically. Because it seems that what you're building is actually leading to success and to very positive results. Now the second row is a beautiful line of all around wish fulfillment. Uh, success, the green light, goal achievement, happiness, abundance are all indicated here. Uh, the key and heart next to each other in either order actually is all, all about happiness and with the moon as well and the flowers and star as well. I mean, they're general cards that point to happiness and success in any context. And the fact is that this line is not really bringing out a context or a specific environment. So all of this goodness is happening in your life in general, and you can look forward to feeling really fulfilled, aligned with your goals, aligned with your, um, your sense of self, your sense of creativity is also possible. You're unleashing a lot of potential and you can achieve some major goals. It's possible that the relationship element is at play. If that's the case, you know, there is love and attraction and probably flirting and things are, you know, moving forward in a positive direction. And the dog here is about friends, you know, so maybe this is a new relationship and you're still at the beginning where there's this attraction and this, um, you know, this building chemistry between the two of you. In the bottom row, we have a lovely set of cards that points to a new beginning whose importance you do not yet see key group this really comes from the child and mountain but we also have the book and ring which is a proposal and the beautiful clover that is all around wish fulfillment and success so you're in for an involvement a commitment possibly a relationship um, it's still at the beginning 
and it's going to prove to be really, really positive. And we have everything else in the extended portrait of yours here that is so beautiful all around wish fulfillment, probably across any area of life. The book is a bit of a mystery card. So at this stage, maybe there aren't a lot of details of what's to come, um, but there is like a sweet mystery here because you know that things are falling into place and it is going to work out very, very positively for you. Now, the fish, heart, and child probably points to a new source of income, or it can be a new attraction. Um, it is exciting. It feels really good. It feels exciting and um, engaging. That's what I want to say. And uh, so it's clear to us, Key Group, that you are moving forward into a new chapter. You're in for some positive changes and a new chapter. Very clear through these cards here. It's going to make you really happy. Uh, the dog key and mountain can refer to someone you have abroad, maybe something online. Um, the key is about success and it's possible that the mountain represents an obstacle or something that is blocked away or blocked off. But with the key, you're able to go through and uh, open up. And it's possible that this dog, this friend here helps you through. So again, you're getting support to achieve your goals and to move forward. Again, this is a pretty broad combination, like it can apply in any, any situation, really. The anchor, moon, and book is a proposal combination, just like the ring and book. So again, I think you're getting an offer, an opportunity to move forward into something. It can be on the relationship front or in other areas of your life. And I think with the anchor, you, you really go for it. You, you, um, you embrace it. It looks like a really good offer uh, that's going to open up quite a bit of opportunity and um, excitement. I also think you get positive feedback. You are appreciated, recognized for what you do, what you contribute. Um, also a really creative time. Like we have these three cards here, along with the child and clover. There's a lot of creativity. It's also the same energy that underlies abundance and, and um, well-being in a broad sense. The house flowers and ring is lovely for parties and get-togethers and celebrations, festivities and things like that, probably on the home front, like getting together with people. And it's also really good for intimacy and a relationship. Um, this is probably a lot about uh, sex and sensuality and attraction and flirting, really some exciting times together. And finally, we have the stork, uh, star and clover, which is a clear combination of getting your wish materialized. Uh, your whole spread really points to a wish materialized, but the stork um, it, and, and the star is, is more specific in that regard. And the clover really adds to that very beautifully. Any way you look at these cards, key group, you're in for wish fulfillment. In any area of your life, happy relationships, great with money, great with what's going on on the home front, um, some exciting changes. A new chapter is ahead, maybe a bit mysterious at this stage, but it's going to prove to be really important for you. And all of these cards are positive and, uh, um, and bode really, really well across the board. You're in for abundance on every level, happiness on every level, fulfillment in every way. Um, so a very, very beautiful set of cards. We can wrap up with a few more indications here. I like to look at the diagonals. We've got the fish, key, and book, along with the flowers and stork. So I think this is a happy revelation. You're able to unlock a mystery, unlock some information, and the good news gives you the green light to move forward. It is the wish fulfillment, the news of things happening in a positive way for you, and it can be on the financial front as well. And we have the child, key, anchor, flowers, and clover. Very encouraging for you to embrace this new beginning. You're going to love the results and the outcomes and, um, you know, have confidence in yourself that you will find solutions as you need them. Uh, finally, we can look at a couple more here. We have the heart, dog, moon, ring, and star. So it starts off as a friendship and evolves into a love relationship when it comes to um, love and romance. And when it comes to other areas, you can look forward to a positive commitment and involvement, one that leads to all around success. And finally, the heart, mountain, into the moon, house, and star. Uh, these are very beautiful things happening on the domestic front. Perhaps you have a foothold abroad because of the house and mountain. And actually, the mountain also knights to the anchor. 
So it's possible that you find some kind of foundation abroad and um, maybe you have connections there, maybe you travel there, enjoy some good times and, um, you know, um, uh, nurture that place uh, that is part of your setup at this stage. And also these are wish fulfillment cards uh, with a heart, moon and star. So again, some very positive uh, developments happening for your key group on every level, in every way, I would say in any context. Um, so let me know where you think all of this good stuff is happening for you. Um, really be grateful for all of the good that is coming to you and be open to it. And also maybe some things you, you know, you're more discreet about, you know, it's, I guess it's part of being, um, humble and appreciative of all the good. There is some degree of sharing, you know, with the house and, and flowers. So, you know, part of the gratitude and the abundance, they always come together. So be sure to embrace this attitude uh, through this wonderful thing that you are going into. Very positive changes across the board key group. Wishes materializing. So let me know how it plays out for you. As always, I'm looking forward to your comments. Very best of luck with it. And until we meet again, thank you so much for watching and take very good care of yourself. Mm -hmm.